Oh, whoops. All right, what is going on, my bears? Welcome back to the cutting series, or Bubby's Fat Loss, as I'm calling it on YouTube. So, I did my fast cardio this morning, weighed myself, and I'm at 100.5 kilograms. So I'm officially at like the 220 pound mark, which is kind of weird because I don't know how I lost a kilogram from yesterday, but uh, I'm assuming that, you know, it's just, it's just an outlier and I'll probably, you know, be above 100 kilograms tomorrow. But if I'm not, cool. Um, but I also don't want to lose weight too fast. <clears throat> so I did about 120, 150 calories on the treadmill and I was feeling okay, but I took a little bit of a break in between the cardio and the workout for today just because I wanted to give my time, my body some time to relax. And so I bombed some pre-workout today and interestingly enough, I felt weaker today than yesterday. Uh, yesterday I didn't take any pre-workout today I did and I felt weaker today so yeah I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now my review on this thing is pretty much pretty much spot on like there's there's really no explosive energy or performance when you take this it's honestly a waste of money don't buy the C4 Sport anyway so I did just get back from my workout for today today was my pull day so let's get into it so the first exercise of the day was the machine row. I wanted to do the cable low row first, but it was taken, so I decided to just do the machine. Instead, kept it really light, uh, just trying to wake up my back a little bit. Everything was feeling really tight, so I decided to do four sets of 15. That, I think, really helped with the rest of the workout. So as you can see, I'm trying to keep my back as upright as possible and really pushing my elbows back behind my spine just to get that full contraction, scapular retraction. Moving on, we have the barbell row and I decided to work at 120 kilograms for the 3x3 and for the back offset, I just did 60 kilograms, which I didn't record. But here you can see that I am kipping a little bit uh, as it is a little bit heavier, but it's nothing my back can't handle. And I'm not using straps because I really want to increase my grip strength along with my back strength. So I want them to kind of even out or match each other. You don't want to be able to let's say barbell row, what, like 400 pounds, and only be able to do it with straps and only be able to handle like 200 pounds without straps. So in any case, uh, that's why I'm doing them without straps. I really just want to focus on increasing my grip strength. And I think the three by three at 120 kilograms is the perfect weight for me to be training my grip. Uh, right around the third rep, I'll start to feel my left and sort of loosen up and so I know that this is a pretty much perfect way for me to be working at. Moving on we have lat pull downs and so the normal lat pull down on the cable cross was taken so I decided to use a machine and use this unilaterally again really doing some pause reps here focusing on the contractions really focusing at the bottom range of the motion. The pauses feel really good. I can feel a lot of my, a lot of the fibers in my back activating after holding it for a little bit at the bottom there. Again, I'm doing some unilateral work just to even out my back uh, in case I have any imbalances, glaring issues that may be present that I'm not aware of. But so far, it feels pretty good. Right after that, we moved on into some rear delt flies and as you can see here I'm leaning forward a lot and that's just to get a better angle for my upper back. I'm using the rear delt fly as sort of an upper back builder today and not so much my rear delts so I'm focusing more on my elbows rather than my hands, my wrists. Uh, normally when I do rear delt stuff I focus more on my wrist just so that I can get that so the moment arm is no longer but here you can see that my arm is bent a little bit and I'm really just focusing on opening up 
my back and contracting my upper back. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention pull-ups. Uh, so pull-ups, I did a five by five body weight and I actually did pull-ups this time instead of chin-ups. And surprisingly, I moved my own body pretty well, pretty fast, pretty explosively. And I managed to get that full five by five, which is pretty nice. I'm not going all the way down to the bottom here. Really, it's cheating in a way. And I fully understand that. But I sort of want to keep the tension on my lats uh, instead of getting that full extension of the lat just so that I can build up my explosive force. Uh, later on, when I do start bodybuilding a little bit more, I will use the full range of motion, but for now, this is the way I like to do it. And lastly, we have the cable low row on the cable cross and not the actual cable low row. And so I'm using this unilaterally, again, to fix any imbalances I may have and utilizing pause reps as well here. I went a little bit heavier, which is why I did four sets of eight instead. And that felt really good. After that, I did do some bicep work, but just a little bit. I just did like two sets of hammer curls. I didn't record them because, you know, it's just, it's just biceps and it's boring. Well, to me, curls are super boring. I, I don't like doing bicep work, but my, in terms of my physique, my, my arms are definitely lacking. They're pretty small. So I do want to start growing them when I start bulking. So I might as well get into the habit of doing some arm stuff. Anyway, that was the workout for today. Um, feeling good about my weight. I know that it's probably, again, like I said, it's probably an outlier. I'm probably not 100 kilograms. There's probably something funky going on with the scale. But if I am, that's really great. And I want to keep this train moving. I want to keep losing weight. I really want to get below 100. Uh, by by about the first week of July or so maybe the second week of July as always Thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or you want to get into online coaching Feel free to leave a comment down below or email me at the email listed in the description If you made it to the end of the video leave a like You guys already know helps me a lot and lets me know you like the content and Why not subscribe so you don't miss future videos? All right I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> I guess I'm MKBHD or something. I don't know. All right, bye guys.